Howdy folks, thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, for the first time in the last 24 years, I find myself unemployed. This past Friday, I, I left my job of 24 years uh, for the last time. And uh, yeah, believe it or not, they didn't even ask me to leave. I, I did it on my own. Uh, obviously, if you saw the last video, you know that Miss Grumpy and I are, are moving to Tennessee, and uh, yeah, well, the end had to come. So, uh, But you've never heard me talk about my day job on the channel before, so I just wanted to take a minute to, to say uh, I've worked for Ike's Carter Pool Companies, a.k.a. Ike's, uh, for the last 24 years, and it's been a great job. I've really enjoyed working there. It's been tough at times, but any job is. Uh, but I stayed there for 24 years uh, because it didn't really suck. I mean, let's just put it that way. And it's been a great place to work, and I really appreciate the, the people there. And uh, I just wanted to say uh, well to, to Gary and to Eric, uh, thank you so much for employing me and, and for putting up with, with my antics for so long. And I also wanted to say thank you to the, the office staff, the whole crew, everybody. Uh, I Believe it or not, I'm going to miss you guys. And uh, I also wanted to say to Tyler, who will be taking over my accounts as of uh, Monday morning, uh, I wanted to say good luck to him and better take care of my, uh, my customers there, buddy. Uh, I know you will. Anyway, so what does that mean? Um, well, it, it means that I've got a couple of weeks to to pack up the rest of the studio looking around. It is in a huge mess. And as far as what that's going to mean for video output here in the near future, well, certainly there's not going to be any any big demos or, or reviews or, or anything like that. Uh, so for a while, I'm going to test out to, uh, try to do uh, some some more vlog style videos, uh, part of which will just simply be uh, showing you various things about the move, uh, maybe about the challenges I'm, I'm going to be dealing with as far as trying to keep this channel going, and uh, I, but also I think maybe some some more vloggy kind of stuff is, or, or opinion kind of stuff, talking about various things uh, going on, not just with, with the guitar community, with guitar gear, uh, but maybe music in general, the, the entire experience. So uh, I've, I'm, I've got a lot of things to work out. Right now I'm just using a, a GoPro Pro with a little light mounted on top because all of my uh, studio lighting is going away and uh, that's pretty much it I I've got a couple of GoPros a phone the good cameras are all getting packed up so they'll be safe for the journey um, so it's, it's just going to be GoPros and phones for a little bit. And I hope you guys will stick with me. Uh, I, I will try to make it interesting, entertaining, how, however best I can. Uh, but there's a long road ahead, and when I say a long road ahead, it's, it's, over, it's, it's over 700 miles, 700, 800 miles uh, from here to, to Tennessee. So uh, I'm going to try to, to shoot as much video along the way as I can. Uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, for those of you who have stuck around thus far, and uh, I certainly appreciate all of you who have, uh, I thought I would take just a minute here and show you the gear I'm going to be using uh, during this trip and uh, how I'm going to be packing it up. And, uh, well, let me just show you. All right, so right here what we have laid out are my two GoPros, the, the GoPro 10, the GoPro 9, uh, and got my Zoom uh, H4n Pro uh, recorder, which should I have the opportunity to record any electric guitar stuff, I'll be doing it through the HSM Humboldt. Uh, simplifier that's the version one I am looking to get the newer model 
of this because I really like it a lot. Uh, oh, I also should mention I got a couple of uh, little tripods uh, for the GoPros here. Got a little light. Uh, I don't know how good this is going to be. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see how that works. I got my my mic stuff over here. Uh, obviously, I uh, got the the receiver here mounted to the GoPro 10. And in fact, the audio you're hearing right now is through that. Uh, and let's see, just to show you this. This is the mic. Clip that back on. And uh, yeah, uh, I, and I did buy this GoPro um, suction mount for the windshield, although it's a bit wobbly. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Uh, you know, just to try to get some of those epic scenery driving shots uh, along the way up to Tennessee. So that's basically the gear I'm going to be using, and I'm going to have it all packed up, and I'll show you how that's going to look. Everything you just saw fits nicely into these two cases. In here, uh, there's one of the GoPros. The one I'm using right now fits nicely in here. And the uh, oh, selfie stick slash tripod that I'm also using right now fits perfectly into there. Underneath, uh, just a bunch of mounting stuff and stuff I probably don't even need but it's in there and then close that up and then over here in this bag well we have oh let's see we've got uh, in here I think oh these are my uh, SD cards in there got the light uh, underneath that's where the the zoom recorder is charger for the GoPro batteries uh, in ear monitors are in here. The the simplifier underneath here is uh, a bunch more uh, mounting uh, GoPro mounting stuff filled up with there. The front zippered compartment uh, in here again more cables and power cords and whatnot. Uh, the wireless uh, mics uh, go right into there and the two side pouches again more cables and chargers and stuff like that fit perfectly in there and then close up nicely and then strap up here under the the handle i have that uh that other tripod and those two cases fit nicely into this old Dario bag that i've had laying around for years um, there's the, the big bag with the tripod on top. There's the, the hard case with the GoPros. And in the middle I have this little case. It's just full of guitar cables and, and whatnot. Just extra doodads. And then right on top fits my uh, Biodynamic DT770 headphones, which I'll need for at least a little while. And, uh, of course, on the sides, we have pockets for more. Can't really get a good shot of that, but there's more cables and power supplies and whatnot. And over here, I, I don't know if I'll use this. I just didn't really have any other place to put it anyway. But over here, I have a an old Behringer, uh, what is this, six-channel really four but well six channel uh, mixer uh, I don't know if that'll come in handy or not but I've got it didn't have anywhere else to put it so I threw it in here because I had room so there there's the whole rig oh one more thing uh, I got this case on Amazon that is perfect uh, let me open this first uh, for the spark 40 the positive grid spark 40 that's the the amp I'm going to be uh, taking with me and using uh, in the you know in the period of time it takes to get up there and to to find the new place and which we haven't done yet we're going to be doing the Airbnb thing for a little while until we find the uh, the perfect place uh, for the new Casa de Grumpy and also up front here I have uh, the positive grid 
spark go. So I'm covered with the, the positive grid stuff here. And uh, yeah, so, oh, I should point out uh, one of the nice features of this case, it has a top compartment. Uh, there's the power supply and uh, cable for it there, and you can fit other other stuff in there. It's very nice. I, I like this a whole lot. I think it was well worth the money spent on it. I know uh, uh, you can buy an official uh, Spark uh, 40 case. Uh, it says it right on the front. Uh, but I didn't. I really didn't like the design of it as much. It didn't have the extra compartment. Uh, or at least not that I could see. So uh, I went ahead and got this, and I think this was maybe four or five bucks cheaper. So that's the gear I'm going to be taking with, and uh, hopefully I won't be having to rely on all this for too long. Hopefully we'll get settled into a new place uh, sooner rather than later. All right, so for all three of you who have stuck around this long, uh, I really thank you, and, and thank you for clicking on the video in the first place. And uh, you know what? If you've stuck around this long, do me a favor, comment below, just write, I stuck around. And that, that lets me know who you are. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll shout you out in the next video. Uh, but with that said, uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, share the video for that matter. And uh, I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And well, let's be good. Let's all just be good. Take care. Mm -hmm.